The American Foundation for the Blind, in association with NV Access, presents Learn NVDA, an introduction to using your computer and getting online. Windows Basics, Part 2. Now let's look at the Start menu. You can press the Windows key at any time to open the Start menu. I'll press the Windows key now. Cortana window, search box, edit, blank. When the Start menu opens, your focus is placed in the search field. Windows 7 has a simpler Start menu that can be navigated fully with the arrow keys. The Windows 10 Start menu has two panes. The left pane contains the All Apps button, the Power menu, Settings, and Recently Used Apps. The right pane has smart tiles that Windows 10 apps can use to present snippets of information such as news headlines or stock prices. You can use the arrow keys to move within a pane, and the tab key to move between sections. In Windows 10, the power button is located above the All Apps button. In Windows 7, the power menu is located to the right of the search field. You can activate this button with the Enter key or the Spacebar key. This will open a dialog containing Shutdown, Restart, and Sleep. We'll go ahead and activate this button with the Enter key, then press the up arrow to navigate through the options. If you want to shut down your computer, activate the Shutdown button with the Enter key. Instead, I'll press the Escape key to dismiss the shutdown dialog. Start window, All Apps button. Power button. Pop-up window, Power Options menu. Restart. Shutdown. Sleep. Power button, power button. Now I'll navigate to the All Apps button using my arrow keys. In Windows 7, this is called All Programs. Press Enter or Space to expand this menu, and arrow up and down to navigate through the list. All Apps button. All Apps list 09 grouping 3 of 12, level 2 3D builder not selected 1 of 1. A grouping 4 of 12, alarms and clock not selected 1 of 2, level 2. Auto hotkey folder, collapsed, collapsed, not selected, 2 of 2, level 2. This is a list of all the applications currently installed on your computer. As I navigate over the items in this list, some indicate that they are collapsed. These are folders that can be expanded with the spacebar or enter key. I'll expand a folder and then arrow down to view the contents. Expanded, auto hotkey folder, expanded. Auto hotkey not selected, 3 of 8, level 2. Auto hotkey help file not selected 4 of 8 level 2. Auto hotkey not selected 3 of 8 level 2. Auto hotkey folder expanded expanded not selected 2 of 8 level 2. Collapsed. Auto hotkey folder collapsed. Note how NVDA indicates that I'm now on level 2. This type of control is sometimes called a tree view since subfolders branch out from the top level or root folder. It's possible to have nested folders resulting in multiple levels. To launch an app that you've selected, press the Enter key or Space bar. The All Apps list is a great way to review what programs you have installed. It's also good for finding the names of programs that you don't use frequently. I don't recommend always using this menu, however, because it's much more efficient to use the search features to directly find an app to launch. I'll go ahead and dismiss the Start menu with the Escape key so we can move on. Desktop list, Notepad checkbox checked selected. Now let's take a look at how to browse and manage files stored on your computer. The built-in program that we will use for this is called File Explorer. In Windows 7, this was called Windows Explorer. There are a number of ways to find File Explorer, but I'll use the Start menu. I'll reopen the Start menu by pressing the Windows key, and then arrow up to File Explorer. If you're using Windows 7, go back to the Start menu and find the Computer button, or find Windows Explorer on the taskbar. Of course, you can also use the search bar to launch File Explorer too. Cortana window, search box edit, blank. Start window, all apps button. Power button. Places list, settings not selected, 2 of 2. File explorer not selected, 1 of 2. Unknown. This PC window, items view list, folders grouping expanded, desktop not checked, not selected, 1 of 9, row 1, column 1, tree view, level 1, this PC expanded, 2 of 3, items view list, folders grouping expanded, desktop not checked, not selected, 1 of 9, row 1, column 1. File Explorer is laid out with a menu bar across the top with an address field. By default, 
The main content of the program has a left and right pane. The left pane contains a tree view of the files on your system, including frequently used folders that pin to the top of the list. The right pane displays the contents of the folder that you are currently viewing. The contents of the right pane can appear either as a grid of icons or a vertical list with details for each item in columns. This one is a grid. Use the arrow keys to navigate the grid. You can be sure to visit every item in this grid if you use the left and right arrow keys because your focus will wrap to the next row of items when you get to the last column. I'll use the right arrow to move through a few items. Documents checked 2 of 9 row 1 column 2. Downloads checked 3 of 9 row 2 column 1. Music checked 4 of 9 row 2 column 2. I'm going to enter the documents folder by pressing the enter key once I have it focused. Downloads checked 3 of 9 row 2 column 1. Documents checked 2 of 9 row 1 column 2. Tree view. Documents collapsed 2 of 7 level 2. Items view list. Test not checked not selected 1 of 5. The documents folder is in details view by default. The details view is a table with each item on a new row. Other details about the item can be found in the columns to the right. These columns have information such as the file type or date that the file was last modified. I'll navigate through some of the files using the down arrow. I can use the right arrow key to move to a different column to access other information about the file as well. Speech output.txt checked 2 on 5. Test 2.txt checked 3 on 5. Test 3.txt checked 4 on 5. Date modified edit 10 slash 19 slash 2015 11 0 7 am read only row 4 date modified column 2. Type edit text document read only row 4 type column 3. To back out of this folder, I can press the backspace key. Items view list, folders grouping expanded, documents checked 2 of 9 row 1 column 2. Let's take a brief look at the left pane in File Explorer. As in other programs, I can use the Tab and Shift plus Tab keys to move between areas of the window. I'll use Shift plus Tab to move left to the left pane. Tree view, this DC expanded to on 3 level 1. Here we have an expandable tree view that we can use to drill down through the folders on my computer. Pressing Enter on one of these folders will load it into the right pane. If the folder indicates that it is collapsed, I can press the right arrow to expand it. Level 2 desktop collapsed 1 on 7. Documents collapsed 2 on 7 level 2. Expanded 1 items. Level 3 test 1 on 1. Once I find the folder I'm looking for, I can press tab to move back to the right pane. Items view list. Test not checked not selected 1 on 5. Speech output.txt checked 2 on 5. Test 2.txt checked 3 on 5. For more Learn NVDA tutorials, visit afb.org slash learn NVDA. This tutorial was presented with support from the Consumer Technology Association Foundation.